All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about ways to get more clients for a roofing business over here. So we got the pleasure of speaking to Donald over here today, and we'll be helping him out doing two ways, organically, freeway, and also paid ads wide. So first thing, let's talk about some organic client acquisition strategies, all right? And... And oftentimes, Donovan, my bad, I get very passionate about what I'm talking about. If any of this kind of gets confusing, chances are people watching here might get confused too. So make sure like, yo, if I'm speaking too fast, bro, be like, yo, Blade, slow it down. All right. So really quick, organic ways that I've found to get clients yes. from easiest to hardest. Okay. Easiest couple of client acquisition strategies is simply through, through networking. Okay. So what I would do if I was a roofer, I would have, I would, do you have a, I'll do one or two things. And this strategy I actually learned from my grandpa and I've used it into my landscaping business as well too, prior to when I was in college and it worked phenomenally. So a business card distribution. Distribution. All right. Actually, before we get into the actual distribution of the business cards, let me point out a couple of key things that you should definitely have on your business card, okay? So this is your business card over here. It's gonna say D's roofing, all right? Free estimates, you get free estimates, right? Yes. So free estimates. All right, one thing that you wanna do is a QR code. QR code, QR. So that when they scan that code, it's going to take them to a link tree. Okay, this QR code, take them to a link tree. And what I would recommend on the link tree is having first your funnel. Do people do financing a lot of times or do they mostly handle that privately? You handle it privately. They, they Sometimes we offer um, financing, but for the most part, they handle it privately. Okay. What I would also do, just so you can make a quick couple extra bucks, financing, right? So an affiliate financing option. Finance, whatever, okay? And then another one is just straight up, just schedule now or schedule an estimate. Actually, no, fuck that, let's do this. He's in the funnel, that's where they can be scheduling. Contact us. Now, okay, so the first one over here is the funnel, in which case they can just check out your site, okay, and they can schedule an estimate right through here. The second one over here, yep. affiliate financing over here, you know, somewhere you can make a couple extra couple of bucks, and last one over here is just contact us now, in which case you can have the phone number and the email, you know, on the phone number, make sure that you say, text us here, you know, so that they know that they, that's a phone number that they can text. All right, because a lot of times there's two types of people. There's people that are okay with talking on the phone with people, but then you're always gonna get 50% of other clients are just shy. They don't wanna talk. So they might wanna just text you, you know? So what I would do is I'm gonna contact us now. I would say like, hey, you could text us here or text us at uh, 201, whatever it might be. And then over here, below that, obviously email. So you have you heard of Linktree, by the way? Yes. All right, cool. Linktree is super easy to use. I mean, I'm assuming you know how to do that. All right, so first one, funnel, of yes. contact us now, text us email. That's the business card right now. And making sure that QR code goes over to there. And another thing, too, is that when you use Linktree, I remember I made, like, I was, I was over in uh, Florida, and I made, like, bro, I made, like, a, a thousand business cards as I was going over to this event, um, a credit repair event. And I made these thousand business cards. And when I got there a week later, bro, the QR code generator that I used was like a free, free shit. It was a free thing. I didn't use like Linktree or something like that. So what I'm trying to say is I can, when, when that free trial expired, bro, I lost that QR code. And that's a thousand business cards were just useless. So what I'm saying is, bro, if pay the extra, whatever it costs, make sure that's a legit QR code that's going to last, you know, just learn from my mistakes. What I'm trying to say, you know? Um, yep. cool. business card makes sense. Simple. All right. I would also make sure you got a front and back, What you can also do, actually we'll talk about that later, but business card simple. All right. 
Next thing, where are you going to distribute these business cards? So one trick I had when I first started out my landscaping business, when I first started out my handyman business, you know, I still got it now in Pennsylvania, even though I'm here in Puerto Rico, because I just got the subcontractors to just work for me. What I'm trying to say is that what I, what I do when I need a rapid cash injection for my landscaping business, my handyman business, I need to just get a bunch of work for my contractors so that they can stay busy is I went to, I went to common areas. So if you ever need a graphic cash injection, this is what to do is I went to common areas. I just handed out, like, for example, the dump, I went to the dump and I talked to people over there. I made it points that every single old lady, I would grab her, their, whatever their garbage and I'll throw it out for them just so I can know them. But that's general handyman shit. You don't really do general handyman shit. You're not going to talk to every single old lady. I don't expect you to. So rather than that, what I also did is I went to the dump with a pizza box, bro. Literally with a fucking pizza box. And I put business cards sticking out of that pizza box. You do a pizza, Dunkin' Donuts, coffee, whatever the fuck you want to do, chocolate, doesn't matter. Give it to the dump owner with business cards, load up with business cards. Tell him that, hey... Ever need somebody that needs to repair roof, the roof needs, I don't know if you do solar, needs solar, needs help with the roof, whatever it might be, refer them over to me, okay? And by you giving them pizza, you know, just it's a $5, $10, well, probably $15 pizza now, but if you give him this $15 pizza, bro, he's going to feel subconsciously obligated to want to have to help you out because you gave him pizza. So he's going to feel a lot right. more inclined to want to hand out the business card whenever somebody asked him. Another thing too are mail rooms and communities, Okay, so I don't know where you necessarily live or if you live in community or not. There's a mail room there or not. But a mail room is a very high traffic area. So two things, obviously, make sure you put up your business cards or posters on the mail room. Also, I when I need a rapid cash injection too, bro, is I'll just hang out in the mail room and I'll hand out business cards. But usually a lot of times, bro, in these mail rooms, they have areas that have like last screen that you pay a couple of bucks and you put a little poster on there. You know, the same thing with yep. the business card, but with the poster, put a QR code over there, right. make it just very easy for them. Or if they have those little things that you pull the, the things, there's not a glass in front of it, just cut it up the phone number, make it simple, yep. pull it out. Easy stuff. Business card distribution. Another thing too, you're probably going to hit, my, my grandpa was a home inspector, okay? And what he would do is he would go to every single mortgage broker, every single real estate agent, every single... Every single, anything that had to do with homes, he would go to. He would go there with a box of chocolate and business cards and, and, and brochures and pamphlets. He would go over there. He was, he's, a, he's a pimp, all right? He's a modern, uh, all this school pimp, bro. He would go there, talk to the secretaries, bro. And he would, he would flirt with them, making sure that his name was known to every single secretary. So that whenever a real right. estate company got a new flip, they need to repair the well, need a home inspection in your case, need the roof fix. The secretary would be like, right. oh, yo, Bobby was here the other day. Matter of fact, he's the best. I, you should call him up. I really like Bobby, you know? But mm -hmm. that's what happens. Yeah. Talk to the secretaries. The real estate agents are too busy. The secretary is the people that you really want to talk to because when a real estate agent needs something done, needs to find a contract, needs to find X, Y, and Z, they're not going to do it themselves. If they're a good realtor, they're not mm -hmm. going to do it themselves. They're going to be like, yo, Betty, get up and get me a roofer really quick. Yo, yo, Betty, get me a home inspector really quick. They're not going to do it themselves. Right. They don't have time for that shit. Right. They're busy. You know, that's a, I agree. That's a $30 job when they're trying to become a millionaire. Millionaires make $500 an hour. They're going to call the secretaries. So what I'm trying to say, right. to sum up my long ass rant over here, is have yeah. business cards to secretaries of mortgage brokers, mortgage uh, lenders, or real estate agents, um, home insurance as well, too. Um, all those different spots, definitely home insurance, bro. Anything that has to do with home insurance, 100% need to do there. Uh, property management companies. Um, these are organic places that you can hustle on the daily and make money, bro. When I was in college, bro, what actually got me to drop out of college was that I was marketing for, for roofers, for, for painters, for general contractors, for electricians. And these are the tricks that I would do. But let alone I, I crashed my car and my truck in college so i was on a bike or i was on a skateboard but what i'm trying to say is that you can do it a lot more efficiently because you probably got a car so what i'm trying to say hit up all these places bro next thing too um communities so on facebook there are usually a lot of communities on facebook uh i built my i got a place over in pennsylvania it's called hemlock farms OK, so what I did naturally is I created a community, a Facebook group community called Hemlock Happenings, all about the events that's going to happen in Hemlock. Hemlock community might have 
I don't know, 2,000 members in it. In my Facebook group, bro, I got like a 1,000 members in there. So I got half the community in there. This is, dude, this is literally what, what allowed me to drop out of college is, or, and just, or even live over here while my contractors are working over there is that community. You know, that community, I, I have my, whenever my contractor does a job, they send me pictures. I have my VAs just post on that Facebook group all the time. And so then I instantly became known as that go-to contractor in Hemlock, you know, with automations like AI chatbots, funnels, the CRM and everything. It made it a lot easier for me to take in those leads and distribute it out to my subcontractors. Okay. So I created a community based, I created a Facebook group based around my community so that everybody can know that, yeah, I'm, I'm a go-to guy when it comes to contracting. So maybe you might have a couple of Facebook groups, or maybe you want to create your own Facebook group in regards to some sort of community as a way to just get a whole bunch of people in your area into that Facebook group. Yeah, it's going to take work on your end. Obviously, all right. these like, means or all these organic ways are going to take. Why am I doing that? I don't even know. <laughs> but all these organic ways are going to take work. You know? But what I'm trying to say is, it it works though. It's going to take work. It's going to take time, but it works. So creating a Facebook community like that and becoming, and yeah, you're going to have to post in the Facebook community, hire a VA to post events or whatever it might be, but it's going to be worth in the long run because all this organic right. content that you put out there stays there forever. You know, I mean, yeah, the, the right. business card distribution doesn't really, the business card won't stay there forever, but the secretary's mind doesn't stay in there forever. You know, if you put right. videos out there, if you put content out there, that's going to stay there forever. You know, that's going to be out there forever. That's natural SEO for your business. Paid ads don't necessarily yeah. stay out there forever. You know, when you put money into an ad, it only goes up. Right, up, it goes away. Um, yeah, it only goes up there as long as your money lasts. Yeah. So these organic ways I got it. work, but it's worth it. Google My it. Business is the next one I want to talk about. Google My Business is super, okay. super important, bro. Um, especially when it comes to contracting. So when I was first in college, bro, what I did is what I did to pay rent is, you know, I worked on commission for all these contractors, but how I got them jobs was a lot to do with my Google, my business by getting them ranked. So what I did is I had, so let me show you this. Now this is a kind of a crazy secret here. So I, I, I went to college to Wilkes university and I put W U. This is where my home base was. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Besides Wilkes university, you got Scranton over here. You got, um, you got Honesdale over here. You got Milford over here. You got Hazleton over here. You got uh, fucking Pittston over here. You got uh, Montage Mountain over here. You got X, Y, and Z. Okay? So why are you going to put only a Google My Business for here when your contractor can work all these different places, but it might just be a little bit longer of a drive? What I'm trying to say is that one of the main things that Google My Business takes into account when it comes to ranking the Google My Business is proximity, okay? So if you were to open up a couple, a PO box over here, a PO box here, 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 all with backlinks going to your funnel, first of all, all that traffic backlink into your funnel isn't allowed to rank up naturally, the funnel in its case, but it's gonna allow you to pick up a lot more jobs with a lot less effort, you know? Because you got Google My Businesses everywhere over here, including where you're at, overall, I mean, yeah, those Google My Businesses might not be ranked, but those Google My Businesses were still bringing some an additional revenue, you know? So you might want to consider opening up a right. field mm -hmm. box on major cities in your area to your Google My Business, sending traffic over to your funnel or even to your phone number or even to your account or whatever you want to do. That's the first thing is proximity. Second thing over here, oops. All right. Prevalence. Preval prevalence, I call it. Prevalence. Proximity, prevalence, and prominence. Prevalence states is how similar the keywords that you have in your Google My Business compared to the people actually searching up the shit in your Google My Business. So you got a roofing company, okay? What are people searching up in Google? They're, they're not, let me tell you what they're not searching roofing. up. They're not searching up Toronto's All-American Roofing. They're not searching up Toronto nope. fucking whatever. whatever. Nope. You're searching up best they're, they're searching roofers up roofing. near me. Best roofers yep. in New roofers Jersey. Roofers or roofing. Best, yep. best commercial roofing, best solar, whatever you do. Best roofing yes. near me. 
And with simple, and you can also as well too, if you want to get more ideas, I recommend um, using Google um, Analytics. It will come to me, I'm having a little brain fart right now, but there's a Google tracking, uh, Google trending, Google trends. I've gone Google okay. trends to find the most keywords there, but on your Google My Business, especially the title. Now this would, bro, this is gonna rank you like crazy. Let me go from like beginning to end. All right. First thing, whenever you post in your Google My Business, use keywords like best roofing in in, in New, York, New Jersey or best roofing in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where I live. Um, best commercial roofing in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, best flat roofing in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Best, best um, shingles, roofing, whatever people search up. You know, use Google Trends for that. Use that in all your posts. In addition to that, you need to find that one keyword that has the most traffic to it. So like I said, there's like best shingle roofing in San Juan, Puerto Rico. There's best asphalt shingle, best uh, flat roofing, best residential. There's a bunch of keywords that you can use. You gotta find that one, two, the hottest one over there and make that one your business right. name, okay? Make that one your business name. Because whenever somebody searches up um, best roofer in San Juan, Puerto Rico, what's gonna pop up? is your business name. So what's really, really, what what takes into account a lot on Google is the SEO that you have on your business name as well too. You know, this might, transferring the business name, it might take a day or two to get verified, but it's completely worth it. Because after you actually change out the business name to a very, very hot topic, like best roofer in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and then maybe put like a slash all American roofing or whatever you call your business, but the best roofer in San Juan, Puerto Rico, if you have this as your business name, that's going to rank that shit up really, really quick. Okay? All right. That's that's prevalence right there. That kind of makes sense? Yep. Right. Proximity, prevalence, prominence. Prominence is how active you are in your Google My Business. And it's not only how active you are, but how active people are on your Google My Business as well, too. So now, that's with that understanding... You got to get a bunch of reviews, pretty simple. Fit, reviews count to 50% of your overall Google My Business listing. But in addition to just getting a, a bunch of views onto there, you got to be active too. So whenever you post on your Instagram or your Facebook, you know, you if you go over to the CRM, you press social planner, you're able to integrate your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google My Business, your LinkedIn, your TikTok, all of these things. So you got all these different platforms, bum, 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 bum. Whenever you post, do a mass post to all of them. That should be mandatory, bro. This way you're making sure you're hitting your, your Google My Business, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, whatever, TikTok. Make sure you use that social planner so that you post to everything so you keep everything active. You know, people people might like Instagram better. People might so what like is that called? What is that called that gets to it? It's called social planner? Yeah, social planner. Let me show you that really quick. This is, bro, you're going to fucking love this. Um, where is it? Let me go over here. Let me share my screen really quick. There's a social planner. That's what it's called. Yeah, let me show you. Social planner. So as soon as, bro, as soon as you log in, where'd it go? Fuck, where'd it go? Here it is. As soon as you log into the CRM, you click on marketing over here, bro. Uh, if it loads up. There you go. Usually when I have Zoom, it makes it shit hard to load up. But even, bro, if you need a VA to help you with this, with the posting and making graphics, bro, I got you. I got a couple of VAs that are like 3 to $4 an hour from the Philippines, you know? Whenever, I mean, I got I got this chick over in the Philippines. Her name is Hannah. And I pretty much hired her entire family. But what I'm trying to say is that to be active on here, you know? Um, with one post, you can hit all your social media platforms. Look over here, bro. I got my Google My Business, my Facebook page, my Facebook group, Instagram, LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, TikTok. You know, I got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different social media profiles. I, I post on all eight of them with just one single post, you know? So whenever you're making sure you're keeping your, your shit, okay. active, make sure you just post on all of them. Just keep it regardless, post on all of them, fuck it. You know, and use keywords as well too. Use tag. Right. Uh, I'll talk, I'll talk to you about tags in a second. Uh, let's finish up with Google My Business. So in addition to okay. making sure that you're active, making sure you're getting reviews, uh, making sure that you're posting frequently, making sure that you have um your business name as a very hot tra hot traffic 
name or keyword or SEO, whatever you want to call it. Um, also, make sure that all your Google My Business is filled out too. All right. So on your Google My Business, make sure that you got your phone number on there. Make sure you got your funnel on there. Make sure you got everything on there so you're constantly sending traffic over to your funnel. Okay. As well, too, you got to make sure your Google My Business is verified because you're, I think your Google My Business won't even pop up if the business is not verified, in which case they send like a, a postcard to your mail and you got to scan that or something like that to verify it. Uh, make sure, double check that's verified. Okay, very important. Next thing, too, how are we going to get a bunch of reviews onto that Google My Business in a really, really quick way? You know, so there's three ways to get a bunch of reviews. So obviously, you might have a couple of past clients or even family members. So past clients, family, and friends. All right, so this is how you're going to get a bunch of reviews and how you're going to get a bunch of referrals as well, too. So you got past clients over here. You're going to hit them with three different things. Text, okay? You hit them with text. You're going to hit them with uh, email, uh, V-mail, Voicemail and snail mail. Okay. And there's a kind of a little interesting way of going about each one of those. Can you kind of see the board okay here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see it. All right. So you're going to hit up all of these to past clients. This is the target of this is to get a bunch of reviews, testimonials, and hopefully referrals as well, too. Texting. You gotta make sure it's very, very, very short. Okay, short. Past clients. Hey, if you leave us a Google My Business, if you leave us a Google My Business review, I'm gonna buy you a free coffee. You know, free coffee is what I did. Okay. If you leave us a video testimonial, I'll send you $20. If you send us a referral, I'm going to give you like 200 bucks. All right. So you're going to send them a text and we're going to do the same kind of system with all four of these, but you're going to send them a text. Hey, want to make some quick money? I want to read that. That's easy. Or, Hey, Sam, let's say his first name is Sam. May have a custom value. I'll show you. If you don't want to do that, I'll show you real quick. I'll send you a video. But hey, Sam, I uh, want to make some quick money. Hey, Sam, this is Blade from All American Roofing. I got a quick, I, I want to make you a quick couple of bucks because we did your roof for you and you're such a great client. If you send us a, a Google My Business um, review, I'm going to buy you a Starbucks coffee and I'll send you over a link directly through the app. If you send us over a video testimonial of you in front of the house with your new roof, I'm going to send you over a $20 gift card to Amazon. You know, 20 to like 50 bucks is what a video testimony is really worth. You know, because video testimonies are crazy, bro. That's going to sell your shit like crazy. Referral one is a referral. If you send me over a referral, bro, 200, like even like 400 bucks, depending on how much the, the roof is, you know, but it has, the first thing, the referral has got to be more than like 150 bucks, 200 bucks. Okay. Right. And then what I would even do is like, Check this out. I also have a video on how you can help us make money by, by giving us a bunch of referrals. You know, I would also tell them, hey, if you want, if you want, like on the bottom of the text, if you want our secret way to help us generate a bunch of referrals, let me know. Text me. Okay. In which case they text you, you're gonna send us a you're gonna send them a link or a video. And this video is gonna be. This over here, the family and friends hustle, I call it, okay? And it's going to be just like this. You tell all your friends, all your family on Facebook, on mainly Facebook, maybe Twitter, but mainly Facebook, okay? This is the Facebook hustle. And you're texting just like this. They're going to put out a post for you saying, hey, my buddy just started a new roofing business, Okay. Hey, my buddy just started a new roofing business, needs help getting his first couple of clients. If you or someone you know needs to repair, fix, install solar, whatever you do, comment down below or tag them down below in the post. So you got this post over here. 
you're saying that words, you know, refer us over my, my buddy starting, my, my, my nephew starting a new roofing business, you know, um, comment, tab below, somebody that might, might, not, might need to repair the roof or whatever, comment down below. They're gonna tag all these people, okay? And put uh, make sure they put a picture or a video of a recent roof repair that you did. Not just the roof, not just the house, but show the construction in it. You know, maybe even make like a little quick uh, GIF, in which case it shows the before, you know, the work and the actual after. Make a quick little three little image montage of a GIF so that they can post it on there. You know, that's the referral strategy over here that you're gonna be texting. And if somebody wants to actually kind of partner up with you and bring you in a whole bunch of referrals so that they can make money because that's, that's a pretty good time of change they can make really quick, you know? They have right. to pick up the yeah. video over here. Boom, send them over to here, you know? Put on your text, all your family, all your friends. Hey, my buddy Donovan over here just started a new roofing business. Um, if you have anybody that needs some repairs or needs a new roof or having trouble with insurance over here, we got the best financing coming for a new roof. We got the best contractor for a new roof. All you got to do is tag the person that needs the new roof. Okay. Boom, right over there. And by, and by like literally sending this to your friends and family, you're going to see, you're going to see this, 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 this tree like root growth effect, in which case, you know, right. the members will find this person who's also going to make a post like this, who's then going to make a post like this. You know, it's going to finally create this root effect and you're going to create a, a nice, sexy MLM network, you know, uh, kind of a multi-level marketing network over here. You know, don't really associate with the pyramid scheme. He's like, we don't want to talk about that, but it's it's what works because you're providing value anyway. I got you. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's, that's what works. Yep. You know? Obviously, make the copy a little bit better. Um, AI, you got that for it. You can use AI to make the copy. You can spend some time on that. Um, but that makes sense, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. I get it. Next thing over here is going to do email. A couple of point, pointers when you do an email to all your past clients over here. Put their name in the subject line because it increases open rates. Name in subject, whatever. Right. Um, the email should just be straight to the point. So when you're using yep. chat GPT to create this, just be like, okay, now create it into an email. And that's really it. When you're doing yep. it, make sure the only couple of things, make sure you're using, I like to use 16 plus text. You know, if it's 12 is too small, he wouldn't want to like struggle to read yep. it. On, 16, on phones yep. and shit. Uh, you already know that though, simple. Yep. Um, also make sure it is spaced out. Because sometimes chat GPT gives you this freaking bulky paragraph that it's just like, it's just a clutter to read. You know, just it's too much every two sentences or something like that. You know, yeah, it's, it's too much. People don't want to read that. It's too much. Exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So just make sure it looks nice to the eyes. I'm trying to say that's really my main. Piece gotcha. Of I understand. Email. Next over here, the email drop. Gotcha. What's about drop? So with the CRM as well too, what you're able to do is you're able to send out a mass voice message drop. So what we're gonna do is gonna go to your phone, record something on voice memo, send it over to your your laptop. Plug it into a marketing campaign over here. If you need help with that, I'll show you momentarily. But what you're just going to say is you're going to be like this. You're be like, um, the past clients, hey, I had a great time helping out with your roof. I want to let you know that we have a couple of ways that you can make some money. If you send us over a testimonial, we'll, we'll send you over an Amazon gift card. If you send us over a referral, we'll send you actual cash. Check out the email that I just sent you. So pretty much at the end of the voicemail saying, this is the most important part, it's just, Check out the email, all right. But you're you're saying that hey, I, I, I you first you're gonna, first part of the email is you're gonna say first you're gonna say the, your relationship with them, so your relation, so they don't just mark it as spam or and go on to the next email. Hey, um, hey, we recently did your roof. This is Donovan from uh, All American Contracting. I just want to reach out to let you know that we can make you some money because you're such a good client with us. I sent you over an email pretty much stating that if you leave us a quick Google My Business video, I'll buy you a free coffee. If you leave us a quick video testimonial, I'll send you 50 bucks cash. If you know somebody else that needs a roof repair or even a new roof, I'll send you up to $500 depending on the job. You know, check out the email. Simple voicemail just like that. So open up with relationship. Oh, my bad. Open up with your relation with them so they don't go to spam. Second, um, say your offer. 
And third, I would say check email. Okay, say, hey, I just sent you a text and an email. Make sure you check it out for more details. Simple, you know? Um, and the last one is actually the most converting, but it's gonna cost you the most and take the most time, but it's the most converting. It's straight up snail mail, all right? So if you do these people's roofs, you probably have a couple of past leads and probably other addresses. So what I would do, bro, is I would make envelopes. I'll make a little bunch of envelopes and send that to all the people, you know? Let's say, and when you do it, the reason why I'm saying it's gonna take the longest really to do is mainly because when you when you're sending out these emails, the the, the actual on the postcard, you're gonna want to hand write the address, okay? So once again, on the postcard on the, on the snail mail, hand write the address because it's gonna increase the open rates, okay? So hand write address. Add, adding, okay, hand write the address and the actual postcard, give them a, a letter, you know, a letter that's, that's, that's similar to this, in which case you're gonna say, hey, you know, Google my business, we'll get you coffee, video testimonial, we'll give you cash, referral, we'll give you cash, and then on the actual letter, put another QR code on it, okay? Put a QR code on the actual letter that you're sending out to all these people. Ultimately, you just want to make it as stupid simple for them as possible. So this is over here. Yeah, maybe this is going to go to the link tree that we we're talking about before. And on the bottom of the link tree is like, you know, you know, the top, it's all the, the links that um, on the top of the business card is going to be all the links that you need for like the funnel, the contact information, the financing. Then below that is how to make money with us. And it's going to be like the, the Google My Business link. It's going to be a Dropbox offer. Link. Yeah, a Dropbox link or a Google Docs link with a video testimonial or send us a referral, you know, send us your the name of the person that needs to be called up or whatever, you know. Um, but make it stupid simple for them, all right? Because people don't want to do shit. You know that. So handwrite the yep. address on the actual letter, put a QR code, put your domain on there, put the, put the funnel link on there, say the offer and everything like that. Uh, but the most and what I would even do. What I'll even do, and this is a guarantee that they're gonna take that they're gonna take action, but it's gonna cost you once again, it's gonna cost you. Is if you put a dollar in the snail mail, like an actual cash, a dollar in the snail mail, saying that there's more to come by putting that actual dollar in there shows that hey, you're serious that you're gonna pay them if you give them a referral. You know, so right now the, the testimonial rate. On that is probably gonna be like honestly five, maybe six out of ten. We'll say five out of ten. But if you put a dollar in there, bro, if you put a dollar, that's just gonna skyrocket. It's gonna go at least like eight out of ten. We'll give you testimonials. Okay. So it's just kind of like adding those extra little pieces on there. You know, you're putting those pieces in the puzzle over there. It's gonna make the big picture of the puzzle. Okay. And the family and friends hustle, we we already talked about. All that makes sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Plus, we got, we got everything recorded as well, too. So I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. All right. Next thing over here. So we just talked about a bunch of organic hustling ways to get a bunch of clients. <coughs> Excuse me a second. Some more. Next, we're going to talk about some paid ads. Okay. Now, because this is a service-based business, physical business. Um, all right, you got a cold audience over here. Cold audience. If you were to take the cold audience and just put up a simple Facebook ad, you know, it might strike some interest. It might not. People might flick it because they want to just see some prices, but they, they aren't ready to take action. And the people on Facebook, um, you're going to have to just nurture them for months and months and months, but we don't want to waste months and months and months, okay? Because these people, they might be interested. You're just putting up an ad in front of them. It's like putting up a, a Sprite commercial on, 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 on TV, you know, oh, cool, Sprite, but doesn't necessarily make me want to go out to the store and get Sprite. That's brand awareness shit. It's just making sure that you know in the back of your mind subliminally that next time you go to the grocery market, oh, I remember Sprite, you know, I might pick that up in the supermarket. 
It's not really, it's right. not really making, causing them to take action. The people that you want, especially because your shit's a little bit more high ticket, is you want people that are actively searching up for roof repairs or roof replacement. So then again, you're not going to hit Facebook. Yes. What you're going to want to hit is you're going to want to hit Google search. <clears throat> Excuse me. When it comes to, and I'll get, I'll get more into this in a second. But when it comes to Google ads, um, honestly, bro, for setting up tracking, pay somebody 50 bucks just to do it for you, just so it gets done and gets done the right way. Because Google tracking can sometimes be a little confusing with the tag manager and everything, you know. Uh, so just pay that guy whatever he wants, get it done 50 bucks, no more really than like 50 bucks. Um, and then when it comes to the actual Google ads, um, if you know what you're doing, yeah, Google search ads, aren't that difficult. But uh, if you don't really know what you're doing when, when it comes to Google search campaigns and looking up keywords to send ads out to, I would recommend kind of just hiring it out to somebody that knows more about it. Um, when it comes to Google ads, um, and especially a Google search campaign, most managers or probably will charge you anywhere between 500 to $1,000 every single month. So I wouldn't really want to spend more than that. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then, but yeah, you can obviously, yeah, you can do it yourself. And this is the way I would do it if I was doing it myself. Besides setting up tracking, fucking just have somebody do that for you. That shit's annoying. Way too annoying. I don't want to spend time on that. But when it comes to Google search campaigns, it's the same thing when it comes to the Google My Business. You know, what are people actually searching up? They're probably searching up best roofers in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay, simple. Best roofers in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So you're going to want to right. make sure that's, that's a keyword that whenever somebody searches that up, your ad's going to pop up first in the search menu. Okay? That's how Google search works. Okay? So what you're going to do is Google search campaigns to a call me now. Okay? Which you can have a phone number. Another one, you can also do a lead form. Okay? In which case, you get their, their name, their email, and their phone number, okay? So you can do a lead form there. And then you can also test things to the funnel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm saying my girl got me sick, bro. <laughs> huh. All right. So Google search over here. Phone number directly to call me, okay? In which case, you're going to use a CRM because first, it records all the calls. And second is that whenever a phone number comes, it's going to add it into your CRM for you to then further send out text messages and emails about different things as well, too. Lead form, same shit, you know, call them up, but you're going to be sending out information. Funnel, same exact thing. This is trying to get them to actually schedule. This is trying to just get the phone number so that you can send them emails to nurture. The phone number, what you can do is you can even send out to an AI bot to then pre-qualify, qualify, and then schedule, and then schedule over here, okay? Um, if they call you up, you're going to have the phone number. Um, either you're going to answer it. If you're getting too many calls, hire a VA to start answering them. Um, as well, to make sure that whenever a call comes in, it's going through the CRM. So make sure you use the CRM's business number. So that it goes into the CRM. You can keep track of it. And if you see that you see a missed call, the very next morning of the day, as soon as you see it, call them back up, you know, because those people are comfortable hopping on a call with you. Okay. Next thing, what's really important yep. when a lead comes in, the longer it takes for you to respond back to that lead, the quality is going to go down. Of that lead because they're gonna forget to, they're either gonna forget about you, they're gonna look for other people that are gonna answer right away. Um, because because people just want shit now, they want things ASAP. So what I'm trying to say is you want to make sure that you minimize the time before you answer that call, answer that text message, answer that email, or you just you know you talk to those people. So if you missed a call, make sure you have an automation that goes out saying, Hey, I'm sorry you missed your call. Uh, our business hours are this. I'll reach back out to you then. Uh, in the time being, check out some of some of our past roofs. Check out some of our financing options. You know, provide them with value. You know, because if you're if it's not during business hours, you know, these people are probably in bed scrolling through. 
You know, if you're if you are not able to answer the call and you're gonna answer it tomorrow morning, send them over some value so that not so that they're not comparing you to other competitors, so that they are looking at that value gotcha. and looking at financing options rather than trying to compare your prices to some sort of competitor. You know what I mean? So if you if you miss gotcha. the call, yep. you miss the text, mm -hmm. um, if somebody, I don't know, they drop an email. All right. And you haven't responded yet. Provide them with some value. The time in between that they schedule a call and the time that you actually answer that meeting in between there, if it's like a two, three day window, every day you should be sending them text messages and emails of success stories and value. And hey, check out my, my Facebook page. Hey, check out these amazing financing options. You know, you can get a no a new roof for only $500 down, you get a new roof for basically free because if you just do X, Y, and Z, no, 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 whatever. Hey, you can you can open up five credit cards, you know, with the $5,000 limit and you can put it all on a credit card for a low APR of only 10%. I don't know, whatever you want to do, but what I'm saying is provide value because that time between where you actually talk to them and do the actual selling from when they actually take notice and interest, you know, they're, they're, you already yeah. know, you already know they're, they're checking out everybody else's competitors and pricing. You already know that's going to happen. So make sure you try to limit that as much as possible by first right. showing, hey, you could trust us because you've got plenty of success stories. Hey, we're we're the best because we're showing you exactly how we do it. We got all these success stories. Hey, you shouldn't go to anybody else because you've got these amazing financing options. Hey, don't do anything else but go to us because we actually care. You know, we got this, we got all these value going to you. Right. It's that we actually care about our customers and making sure that they get this right. player for the for the lowest APR, you know, spending the least amount, you know, because what people just want, they want it fast and they want it cheap, you know. So right. provide value and showing them how to do so in between. Okay. So right. that makes sense so far, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. I Next it. thing that you want to do is that Google search right here is <clears throat> excuse me, that Google search right over here is us calling upon the people that are actually searching out for roof repair, okay? Now, these people, yeah, you might get them to right. close right mm -hmm. away, but chances are you're probably not. So in addition to doing the, the emails, right. you know, text messages, maybe throwing a couple of voicemail drops in there, uh, what you also want to do is retarget everybody that's in your CRM, okay? So, Excuse me. Anybody that called you, they're going to leave a phone number onto the CRM. And the lead form, you're going to get their name, email, and phone number, more information. You know, in the funnel, you're going to get the name, email, and phone number. You know, you are you might also put a survey on there to get, hey, do you have enough money? Do you need a financing company? On the AI pre-qualification bot, you might get their more information about it as well, too. But all these, all these pieces of information, you're going to have in the CRM. So what you can do is all in here, let me move this over here a little more. There we go. Everything on here, what you're able to do is with a workflow, what you can do is everybody that's in the CRM, you can have it automated so that it automatically sends out to a custom audience on Facebook and IG. Okay. In which case, all you're doing on Facebook and Instagram, because you already know people are on Instagram monotonously scrolling through it, okay? People are on Facebook and Instagram, but you want to save Facebook and Instagram only for retargeting. Especially in your niche, save it for only for retargeting because you're getting people in with the highest quality over here that are actually searching for roof replacement, roof repairs, okay? So they're actually up for they yep. they need it they they already know that their roof is leaking okay yes. they're not just seeing yes. the where they might be interested but they're seeing that hey my roof yes. is leaking over here cool i'm searching on google all right find this guy american roofing over here great you know i might have to middle lead for him whatever i might have actually scheduled a call with them whatever but in between the time of the actual time that they schedule a call and between the actual appointment you know like i said file value but also Hit them with a custom audience, a Facebook ad as well, too, so that when they're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, they're going to see your brand. They're going to see all American roofing, okay? Um, they're going to see your face. They're going to see your face. What you're pretty much doing on this Facebook ad here, the point of this is to uh, add more trust behind your name, okay? To further ensure 
that they, if they haven't scheduled, that they schedule. If they haven't finished off the AI bot, that they finish up the AI bot that takes them to schedule. If they have, if they they missed a call and they're debating on whether or not I should really answer this guy because you're probably reaching out from multiple times. You know, this retargeting Facebook and Instagram ad is what's going to convince them. So what you might want to do, and honestly, bro, you don't need an ad manager for this. Um, you can probably watch like these Facebook ads. I, I find it's very, very simple. You know, you just install the pixel right onto your site. Very easy to do. If you need help with that, I'll send you a YouTube video. You don't need an ad manager for this. You know, the Google tracking is where it's a little more difficult. What I'm trying to say was over here is on the actual Facebook ad. <clears throat> do two types of ads, bro. I would do um, a picture and also a video. Okay. Now the picture might be a little yeah. slideshow, like we said before, where it said before roof repair, you know, during roof repair, and then maybe like after roof repair. Okay. And then show right. up and right. that could be like a simple GIF or a slideshow ad on here and just show your face, put put yourself on there, like smiling with the client, like over here, like a corny picture, you know. But what I'm trying to say is that because you're showing your face on these ads and you're showing your logo on the ad. Here, let me show you. Let me do it like this. So I'm going to have a, a picture over here as the ad. You know, you might have like yourself over here. You might have other guy over here with his house in the background with the roof repair and have your logo over here. Okay. But yeah, maybe like shaking hands or something like that. I don't know. Something that's showing that you're friendly and that you can right. be trusted. You know, when you have the client over here, you got the roof repaired over there. You got yourself smiling. He's smiling. You're both happy. The roof looks amazing. You guys are shaking hands. It's an excellent picture to associate yourself with this logo over here as a trustworthy person. You know, when, when you right. see people in ads, you're, especially when you see faces, subconsciously, you're, even though you might not be good at faces, subconsciously, your brain is the best with faces and it remembers every single face that you've ever seen, which is why in dreams, you might remember, uh, you might see in a dream, someone's face that you probably never thought you've met, but you actually have seen that person. You know, your brain doesn't just make up faces. What I'm trying to say is that you're subconsciously, your brain understands faces. So when you put a face on that ad and it tied in with your logo, oh my gosh, bro, that's gonna do wonders for the trustworthiness of your company, okay? Right. That's, that's a picture, this is a pick ad. I got it. Okay. Now the next one might yeah. be yeah. A video ad. Now this is where you can kind of experiment a little bit. Okay. This picture is, is just simple. You know, you just want to embark on trust, show your face in this, show your logo on it. Simple. Now the actual video ad for retargeting is going to be a little bit different. Now this is where you can kind of experiment, right? The video ad is you kind of breaking down and also in the emails, you can also experiment too. When you're providing value with somebody, you're nerfing somebody, really figure out what's stopping somebody from actually giving you money right now and getting my roof repaired. You know, chances are it's like, hey, I don't have enough money. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what you're probably going to do is hop in front of a, you know, dress up nice. I mean, look good, but kind of not like maybe just a simple button down, not tux, you know, maybe in front of your work truck. Behind your work truck, here, we, we film us like this. This is perfect, all right? This is the video over here. You know, you got your work truck over here, okay? It shows like your company logo over here. And maybe you're just gonna be in front of it, just right there. Uh, maybe another house in the background over here, that's in the background. Maybe you're on the street over here. You got the camera over here recording it. And what you're gonna be like is, Hey guys, we just did, and you're testing out offers here. One offer might be like, hey guys, we this client of us just replaced his roof with no money down. Check it out. We got this new financing partner where you had to put no money down um, and we can, you pay, I don't know, whatever. You know, what I'm trying to say is make a couple of videos here on the common objections of why people aren't paying you money right now. You know, so my, one might be is like, hey, we have this new financing option. Another video example might be like um, guarantees or how long does this last? How long does this roof last? Or another one might be like, 
Does it increase the value of my house? Maybe is you're, you're probably speaking out to a lot of realtors as well too, home flippers, investors. You know, you might put up, throw up a statistic there, like the average roof repair increases their house price by like 25%, means more money that you're gonna be making when you flip the house. Plus we got a new financing option where you put no money down. All you gotta do is uh, have a credit check, whatever. And you know, you're putting out different options out there on the video. And the reason of the video is you're just handling common objections on why they're not scheduling the appointment right now, okay? Um, so you might wanna test out between two or three different videos. You know, it's you can do it, you can test out the offers organically through email to just figure out, hey, maybe one email you might go out, like this guy got, a, got his roof completely repaired for free with our new financing option, or this over here, this other email is gonna be like, um, Hey Scott, we uh, are you an investor looking to flip a house? Did you know that if you fix the roof or put this new type of roof on, increase the house by twenty five percent? But you can take a look to the subject lines and the click through rates. You know, if if much we call it, if the increase of house for investors, you know, a roof repair increase in the value of the house, you know, has a higher click through rate or a higher open message rate, you know, like this one is like 10% more than the other one. Obviously this offer is working more. So just make a video about that and send it out as retargeting to all the people that have, has seen your funnel, that has seen your shit. You know what I mean? Kind of makes sense. So it's, it's yeah, a I got whole it. lot here, I got bro. You. <laughs> it's a whole lot. I here. got you. No, I I got it. I got. I got a couple. I got in mind some things that, that I'm going to do. I, I, some of the things that I'm already doing, but I, I'll make sure I get right on. I'm gonna get on it. Same way you told me with the name and stuff like that. I'm gonna get right on it. The other thing too, when I was talking about Facebook ads, is the reason why you don't really need a Facebook ad manager when it comes to Facebook ads is because the Facebook ad is is completely dependent on the offer. Facebook's yeah. algorithm is amazing, bro. So you can pretty much have either website visitors or or just blank targeting. And based upon the copy that's in the image and the copy that's in the primary text, it's going to scan that copy and, and try to learn who's best suited for this ad based upon the copy, okay? So all you really need to focus in on is figuring out which offer is the best. <clears throat> and when you are trying to hire a Facebook ad guy, they don't always have the confidence to tell you that, hey, your offer sucks, okay? You need to gotcha. kind of test yeah. that out yourself. You yourself need to see that, hey, yeah. people are more interested in financing options rather than increasing the price of my house, you know? Right. Think about that. Okay. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the call, man. I'm going um, to get on that now. Bro, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll let help, you know man. how I go. I'm going to get on that right now. Yeah, bro. And when you when you start winning, bro, when yeah, you start tremendously sports, helpful, man. I hope, man. I, that's what I'm here for, bro. You know, my job is to make you as successful as possible, bro. Um, as well yeah. too, bro. As you're kind of going through these steps that we talked yeah. about, hop on Discord, post some of the success stories, you know. Um, either I, some another mod, or other people in the group okay. respond back to you and be like, hey, I've recently done this in a different way, and this has worked for me. So I'm trying to say is like posting on the Facebook group or in the Discord, yeah. you know. It's just, it, it yeah. entices other people to try to want to contribute gotcha. and help you out on things. Exactly. Well, cool, man. Well, I appreciate it, bro. I'll keep you updated and I'll hit you. I'll hit Jeff and let you know how it's going. Let's, let's win, bro. Let's win. Let's make a shit ton of money, bro. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. All right, All right. sir. I'll talk to you later. Let me know if you need anything else. See you later. Peace. Cool. Thank you.